Now, it's always nice to have sophisticated comedy on the show. A little class, yes. a little satire. And we hope to get it for you soon. In the meantime, <laughs> will you welcome Andy Ford? <laughs> Well, how do you do? Sorry about Which that. Which is you? Oh, that's Andy. I couldn't get a taxi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're going wrong, right? Uh, hiya. Uh, you need to watch me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I should ask you this, but right. did, what was your childhood like? Was it, was it Well, died? we touched on it last time I was on, didn't we? It was quite tough for me. But the good, I love you. The good thing is my parents spoke to me regularly. What's going on? <laughs> um, my parents spoke to me regularly, and it's right to communicate. And this is a lovely story, I don't know if we've got time. Um, when I was just a little boy, I asked my mother, <laughs> What will I be? Will I be handsome? Will I be rich? Here's what she said to me. No. <laughs> so that was quite disappointing. <laughs> that was devastating. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet mum. Do you, do you get to see much of your mum or the family? I mean, you've got such a busy schedule. Yeah, I am quite busy. I don't see them very much, but we keep in contact. Communication, that's ours, like, watchword. And the other day, my auntie, I haven't seen for a long time, she rang me on my mobile phone from Devon. Um, she's from Devon, not the mobile phone. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's Japanese. Um, she was, I'm not sure. Oh. Um, she was crying her eyes out. I could actually hear her trying to put them back in. I said, um, Ow. I said, oh, what's wrong? I'll never do it again. No. She said, what's wrong? She said, I've lost the dog. Did I upset you? I hate the noise. She said, I've lost the dog. I'll tell you the story. Sorry. Um, she took her dog... <laughs> we was just chatting then, weren't we? Um, she took her dog to the vet, cos her dog was hard of... Don't start again. Cos her dog was hard of hearing, and the vet was very good. He put two hearing aids in the dog's ear, strapped a battery to its side like a power pack, <laughs> and immediately the little dog could hear again. Isn't that lovely? Then it ran across a field, saw a tree, cocked his leg up, peed over his battery and blew his head off. <laughs> I'm sad as that. Not the sort of thing I'd love. Thank you. I know, uh, as a cultured man, you're heavily into the arts, and uh, yeah. are you still penning your poetic prose? If, yes. If you don't know, I write poems about things that I love and care for, mostly around the house. And we've had a new addition to our household, and I've written a poem about it. Um, the clue's in the title. It's called Blimey, It's a Bonsai. <laughs> <laughs> it's about a bonsai. It's about a bonsai. <laughs> What's a bonsai? I'll show you now when I do it. Okay. Blimey, it's a bonsai. You've bought a tiny tree. You've stuck it on the mantelpiece underneath the picture of me. Um, did you purchase the accessories, like a miniature garden swing, to attach to one of the branches, or am I being ridiculous? <laughs> <laughs> but don't you... I am finished. But don't you ever worry if a minuscule woodpecker destroys it, for I have the card of a petite tree surgeon and he's desperate for the employment. That's the end of that one. <laughs> that worries it? you to death, doesn't it? Then? <laughs> How's the book selling? Uh, it hasn't come out yet, but I've ordered three. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any jobs before you were a comedian yeah, and a writer? I, well, I was just chatting with Westlife, actually. Um, I used to be in a boy band. You probably picked that up from my singing earlier. <laughs> and uh, we, were called, we were called Always Together Forever. But we split up after a fortnight. <laughs> <laughs> artistic differences, really. They were artistic and I was different. <laughs> so I thought of becoming a children's entertainer. So obviously you've got to study if you're going to do something. And mm. I went to watch some and there was this guy who was amazing. He was an alternative children's entertainer. He twisted dogs into the shape of balloons. <laughs> That's, the thing that. That's quite different. <laughs> so anyway, I've decided. <laughs> Thank you. I decided to go back. I don't want to continue to stop laughing. I decided to go back to Devon and became a chicken farmer. But guess what? All my chickens died. It's, it's my own fault. I think I planted them too close together. <laughs> it's my fault. 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Andy, what? I'm not sure if, if you're from a theatrical background or not. I mean, are, are, were there performers in your family? Um, not really. My dad's a bit of a good laugh. My, my uncle was quite creative, <laughs> but he was, he was an inventor. He invented the strongest wig glue in the world, and they tested it and everything, and they stuck a wig to this man's head using my uncle's wig glue, and they sent him up in a jumbo jet, and at 500 miles an hour, he had to stick his head out the window, and, ladies and gentlemen, it was a success. Because um, when they found his head, the wig was still on it. That, that was quite good, wasn't it? That was marvellous. Right. <laughs> uh, what can I say? It's been wonderful having you here. Thank you very much. And we always enjoy everything you do. Bring us some more poems. Uh, yes, OK, I'll do a very, very, very quick one, because I know you've got to go very quick. Um, um, I have a potted plant on a tray. I water it most every single day. I water in the morning, at lunch and dinner too. Oh, no, it's floated away. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, dear. I think the van's just arrived for you. <laughs> yes, it's Look how he walks. He's got little... <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Now, a reminder...